Oh, Mr. Kyle. You suck. You're the reason we don't have any videos. Because your ass decided you wanted to go off and get a buggy. <laughs> so, after this, we ain't friends no more. So when you're oh editing God. this video, just remember, it's your fault that we ain't got any videos. Not mine, not Paul, not Lucho, your fault. That's I think it, it's like 5% my We're fault. We're good. Hello, you do. What's up guys uh welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel uh if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe make sure to like this video make sure to comment and uh tell me what you think of the buggy but as most of y'all know i haven't rode my razor since august of i think it was like at the very end of august uh, and i've been riding with lucho rick paul and everybody uh I have had my 2018 turbo for about two years now and I have absolutely destroyed it and all the for all the cross members under the frame were bent um, let's see it was just it was just getting to the point where it was just one thing after another started to wear out so uh, I had saved up a little bit of money and I've always wanted the chassis uh, I was sick and tired of the uh, stock razor wheelbase of 90 inches. Well, we ran Ford A-arms, uh, so it put us a little bit more than 90. But, and I was just sick and tired of ripping plastics off. If you ever noticed my razor, my razor was always had plastics ripped off of it, uh, I had, which I had to bed delete. Uh, and I started ripping off fenders, top trails, and a few other little places. So. And uh, I'd always wanted the chassis. I've always, uh, I've always loved them ever since I started watching all the hill climbing videos for however long now. It's been forever. Uh, so, yeah, so like, like I said, I saved up a little bit of money and I, I just decided to go ahead and do it. So, and I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Danny Kelso uh, for Dano's Cages for uh, building me this chassis. Uh, he did an immaculate job on it. Uh, so I'll give a big shout out to him. I'll uh, put uh, a link to his stuff probably in the description. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me get out real quick and then I'll show y'all around the buggy. All right, y'all, I'm out of the razor. If you know if you ever have a chassis, it's kind of a pain to get in and out sometimes. But here it is. Uh, it, the color is a neon green. If uh, if you ever look at our logo, that's that's the color of our logo. So that's why we went with the color of it and uh, black panels. And uh, I really, really loved how it turned out. Which we, I got it probably a week before RBD, and I did a ton of work one night i stayed up over 30 hours trying to put this thing together for rbd uh ended up not finishing when i wanted to and i wasn't going to go to rbd and lucho had talked me into going we was going to finish it thursday night when we got there and stuff like that because all we had was the fuel lines uh coolant lines and uh wiring to do uh which we had planned on filming a lot of it doing all that but we just it was 
dark time we all, whenever we started to work on it and just never got around the chance to do it the film so we was always in a rush so we took it with us to rbd and we finished the wiring we finished uh the plumbing i think like friday afternoon so we missed all day of friday riding and um so i want to thank them for uh rick paul lucho the kings helped a little bit uh, a bunch jason eddings uh bunch of other people everybody that come over there and helped me uh finish it up so i could ride friday and Sat uh, friday night and saturday uh, uh we got we got finished with all the wiring friday and it turned out really good which as you can tell kind of just stuff is just kind of everywhere because we didn't have electrical tape and stuff like that uh jason eddings actually brought that to us and uh we just kind of, we just basically wired it just to run. So it's not like the, all you just think all the middle panels and stuff are out. We didn't, we plan on finishing everything right, but literally we did, literally just threw it together just so I could ride it at RBD. So a little bit about the buggy. Uh, I'm running uh, Rockzilla tires, uh, 32 inch 10 by 14 Rockzillas on MSA M31 wheels. Uh, I got still got Fox. I mean not Fox. Uh, Walker Evans shocks uh, with a shock therapy spring kit, and uh, I'm running L and W arms with uh, kryptonite death grip ball joints, which I know it's probably hard to see right now. Uh, literally, the brake lines are literally just zip tied right now. Uh, running kryptonite tie rods, and uh, I think the fuel cell is probably around eight to ten gallons and i didn't have a rollover valve uh so what we did is we just got a piece of this half inch hose and kind of looped it around up and down and side to side that way to keep it from spilling out uh we had to replace the battery uh thursday morning i mean friday night thursday, uh, saturday morning uh battery was shot after sitting because i didn't put on a trickle charger uh Forest one diff you see in there finally I uh, got rid of that old diff so if you've seen the last video where we rode with red our friend red and uh, David Uptain and uh, with razor life I actually exploded my stock turbo diff and uh, that's why you see me just beating on it because I didn't really care about it because I had this sitting in the garage and I knew that was the last ride on it so I was just gonna let it eat so Still got to run a PRP seat. Uh, I'm actually working on it right now. I got got the stock steering wheel. I'm about to put a dragon fire steering wheel that's down there in the floor on with a quick release so it's get, make, make it a little easier getting in and out. So if you uh, watched me at getting in and out, if you were at RBD and you see me getting in and out, you can see me struggle a little bit with that stock steering wheel there. Uh, ORB trailing arms. Uh, running uh still got super atv uh box tie clearance radius rods uh running stage uh two tune from aftermarket assassins running uh aftermarket assassin clutch kit too i'm running 443 set up like lucho and i'm running a, a 1024 helix and that's pretty much it for clutching primary the primary clutch is still stock and the secondary is still stock uh we had a little bit of where the welds were you see we jb welded it to keep it from leaking a little right here on the welds it was leaking a little bit so we got to fix that so if you uh know any aftermarket uh radi uh radiator intercooler setups that i could go with uh drop a comment and tell me what uh what i could run i know a few uh a few companies that build aftermarket but it's my first time building a buggy so i'm kind of new to this uh still running rhino 2.0 axles should have said that up front uh actually justin heron uh one of our uh, friends actually uh told me about this muffler right here it is a vibrant i think it's 1141 uh resonator 
you can buy off Amazon, bought it for 80 bucks. Uh, Danny welded it on for me uh, when I took it back to him because he had to extend my steering shafts and uh, the prop shaft, what we did for right now, is I had a uh, Bounty Series uh, four seat prop shaft that we actually cut to length. So uh, thank you again to Danny for uh, cutting that and welding it back for me so I could uh, have a drive shaft to run for RBD. May eventually, uh, we'll probably go with KB3 uh, and then that'll uh, solve that. And uh, the steering shafts are done. I got a, I need to find a new steering rack because the steering rack, but when I took it off my turbo, regular two seat turbo, uh, well the stock frame, it it was actually missing one of the mounts because it actually broke. So I'm actually only running four bolts in the steering rack right now. Got Danny to build me some tree kickers off of it. I knew I didn't want to slide into stuff right here in the wheel well and i think that's pretty much it guys uh i know everything just kind of looks like it's just kind of thrown on together which it really is we literally put it together in probably three or four afternoons and thursday night friday and friday at rbd so everything's just kind of thrown together so we're going to go back through it wire it right run all the wires clean uh run all the plumbing clean uh mount brake lines better than with a bunch of zip ties uh and then we'll get this uh going so the buggy did fantastic at rbd besides hitting one heel with it and i actually bent an l and w a arm upper a arm right here so i'm waiting on a warranty to send me a new a arm upper a arm and i will we'll be coming out with a video too i'll be talking about the kryptonite ball joints uh i ain't gonna go into too much detail on that yet until we start pulling it apart but the kryptonite uh, death grip ball threaded ball joints are an amazing ball joint and i'll just leave it at that and i'll explain more than that when the video comes out for it this as you can see it's getting dark uh so i just want to get, go ahead and uh show you all the buggy real quick hopefully y'all can see it because i know it is getting dark and uh if y'all have any questions if you have uh are looking to go chassis and uh you want to uh see what my experience is like because i never run it and see what the difference is between riding the full body and riding a uh uh chassis uh hit us up in the comments if uh you hadn't rode with us before hit us up we have a uh, group on facebook btr off-road slash bama trail riders we have a page, uh, BTR Off Road. We have Instagram. We have TikTok. So if you've been following us on TikTok, uh, you are, you are probably have already seen me post a, vi uh, a videos of the buggy. Uh, I kind of do that, just kind of throw out teasers. And, yeah, guys. Uh, next uh, couple videos are going to be from RBD, showing where we uh, rode with this thing. So if you ain't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, uh, like, comment. Follow us on all of our social media, and we'll see y'all later.